హలో ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ గరుడ రమ కన్సల్టెంట్ పిడియాటిషియన్ మెడికవర్ హాస్పిటల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ జగదాంబ జంక్షన్ దిస్ హాస్పిటల్ ఈజ్ స్పెషల్ ఫర్ చిల్డ్రన్ వి కెన్ మేనేజ్ ఆల్ కేసెస్ ఇన్ ఎమర్జెన్సీ ఈవెన్ వి హ్యావ్ ఎ ఇంటెన్సివ్ కేర్ సో ఎనీ సీరియస్ పేషెంట్ ఆల్సో వీ కెన్ ట్రీట్ సో టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు స్పీక్ అబౌట్ డెంగ్యూ ఫీవర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద సీజన్ వీ గెట్ డెంగ్యూ ఫీవర్స్ ఇన్ రేనీ సీజన్ వై బికాస్ ఇన్ రేనీ సీజన్స్ దేర్ విల్ బీ ఎ స్టాగ్నేషన్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ and this dengue fever is a virus fever is caused by mosquito bites and these mosquitoes will breed in the stagnant water so it is common in rainy season from july to october so you, you should be aware of, of dengue fever so when you hear the wo- uh, word of dengue fever everyone will be panic and afraid hmm? um, so you should know what are the danger signs and uh, when to bring to the doctor so dengue fever as i told you is a viral fever as any like any either viral fever they present with fever cough body pains and sometimes rash so if the fever doesn't come down and con- and have a rash abdominal pain so bring to the doctor they'll do test for dengue fever many patients 90 95% they have a fever with body pains and mild rash and sometimes thrombocytopenia they recover only 5 to 10% will have complications and problems so if they have a complications and problems only that mortality will be there so you should be aware what will be the danger signs in dengue fever all the children with dengue fever doesn't need admission if the child is having only fever body aches and taking peds well and stable they can be managed at home and they can be monitored on platelets because when once the fever come down the platelets will come down so and these platelets will fall down after 4 days when the fever is subsiding and the complications also will occur after 4 days so the danger signs will be the child is having abdominal pain vomiting headache and body swellings and uh, if they have a jaundice drowsy not feeding well decreased urine output and uh, you should bring the child immediately as i told you 5 to 10% only complications even they have these problems they bring to the hospital and managed in, uh, immediately the mortality will be less even less than 1% so you need not worry so only know about the dengue fever know the danger signs and if they have any danger signs bring to the doctor so when once we suspect dengue fever we do blood test it can be diagnosed in simple blood test like cbc the total count will be decreased and sometimes the platelets will be less and dengue test will be we do dengue test it will be positive and uh, if they have any suspect complications we do liver kidney test uh, and they take an uh, x ray also as i told you in dengue fever what happens uh because of the infection the blood from the um blood vessels will come out so the blood volume will be decreased so they can present with shock uh, or they can have a bleeding manifestations because of um, thrombocytopenia we call it as dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome so there can be accumulation of fluid in the lungs abdomen and the urine output will be decreased because the blood volume to the kidneys will be decreased so many patients if they don't have any danger signs we manage at home if they have a danger signs we admit in the hospital we give fluids and um, it is always a symptomatic treatment whatever problem is there we will treat that so if they have a uh, lung infection we give antibiotics we give oxygen if necessary we put on ventilator and uh, for uh, liver we give support to the liver for kidneys mostly they require fluids as i told you so you need not worry as 90 95% will have only fever with headache and you monitor the platelets and look for any danger signs as i told you this dengue fever is caused by mosquito bites we can prevent dengue fever by avoiding the mosquito bite so at your home if you are keeping any plants you have to remove the water once in 4 days and avoid mosquito by using mosquito repellents hmm? uh, so if you take all these precautions it is not a danger okay thank you